Well, here we are on YouTube, and uh, Ryan and I are going to process our thoughts and go through some questions about the concert, what we thought, what some of our first time experience with fish, what that felt like to be there, um, answer some questions from some of our fans that, asked, that gave us some questions, and just kind of give our overall take. Before we get into the questions from our uh, watchers of our channel. You can look that way if you need to. <laughs> Why do I? So, I'm excited to talk to Nathan as well. We were, well, I say we, but of course I'm talking about myself, but we were very excited to go in, in general to see the concert. We knew that from the videos that we've reacted to that obviously Fish is who they are. We done. 43 fish videos on our channel. I want to say that. So we've done 43, which in the grand scheme of things, it's probably not a lot of fish. I say that, but at the same time, I think for any, well, any band really, listening and watching 43 videos, you get a good idea of what a band's like. At some point, you're like, I like what I'm hearing. I dig what they're doing. And so we, you and I going to our first fish show, uh, I suspect we probably, for first timers, had a lot of background going in. So when I saw them live for the first time, I wasn't confused. Yeah. Like I wasn't like, gee, I wonder how this is going to go down. Mm -hmm. The way they were on stage was exactly how I envisioned. We saw enough videos. Mm -hmm. uh, of course, they do different things at different shows. I, I, I understand they've done 10,000 shows. I'm just saying how they are on stage, the very little interaction they kind of give to the crowd, Mike not moving from his spot barely, John's playing, Paige, how, like everyone in their own little element they were that way the whole show, both shows. So it wasn't surprising. Yeah. So that's I wasn't disappointed or surprised. I just, because different bands do jumping around, moving around, singers singing together what, with the guitarist. Depends on the band, right? They all yeah. have their own shtick or their own thing they do. So I had an amazing time. I recognized and I tried to appreciate just how cool it was seeing these guys. I was like, this is legit. I mean, these are, this is a real band who's done a real legacy and they have a real following people were legitimately excited that we went and that was really cool to hear that you guys are finally going finally you know yeah. and and so they were excited for our excitement i think i was i was blown away by um just how much better the experience was in person i was not prepared for that i thought honestly i thought i i thought i'd get bored on and uh, that's okay. that's, that's good yeah i thought because sometimes we'll we'll do a fish song it's like 25 minutes long now granted when even watching it on when we watch it on a you know on a screen or whatever we we don't get we don't get bored i, I don't think it's ever been a fish song where we're kind of like checking the time or anything like that and and i but i still thought like but what if i do you know like three hours yeah so that was a big one that i was just like i could not believe that the like i wanted it to not, i didn't want it to stop after the second day, when they were playing the final set lit, I was just like, it? it's over? Like, we're going home now? I was, I was sad. I was actually kind of sad. Friday night, we had, uh, we were at the, oh, it's at the stadium. What was it called? Climate Change Stadium. Is that the name of the stadium? Climate Pledge. Yeah, sorry. Climate Change Stadium in Seattle. Beautiful stadium. Just got renovated in 2021. Yeah. It's a beautiful, beautiful job for the Seattle Kraken now play. We arrived just a little bit late. Due to unforeseen circumstances, which we don't want to bore our listeners, but a bit of a funny story. So the first song had already started, but like every fish song, the first song had started and we got there before they got into their big jam at the end. We get to our section, we figured out where it was, we get to, sorry, yes, row W, so we get to row W, and now people are kind of, you know, they're dancing already, the song has just started, and, and we're like, excuse me, sorry, excuse me, we, we arrived late, we felt bad arriving late, right? So we're like... I think it was eight people. Were like, excuse me, sorry, excuse me. Uh, and people were pretty kind. They were kind. Yeah. They were nice. Yeah. But we're still, I say disturbing, we were interrupting. Mm -hmm. Now, how they felt about the interruption, sure, I can't speak to that. But we did interrupt their flow because we're like, B excuse me, sorry. Uh, sorry yeah, yeah. So we get to our seats. We can appear everyone's standing. So there's not really anyone sitting in our seats. So nobody was sitting in our seats. But we yeah. get to exactly where two people are dancing. Mm. And we're like, we, we just started kind of dancing too. We're like, yeah, we're here. <laughs> and this couple goes, uh, what are you doing here? This is, these, this is our seats. We're like, oh, no, this is our first time in the stadium. So we would assume we're wrong. So they showed us their phone saying, yeah, they were in section 20, row W, seats 9 and 10. Hmm. And we're like, oh, we're in the wrong section. 
we we're we're 21 they're like well we understand so then we have to go back oh excuse me excuse me excuse me so we end up just standing at the top of the row you know in the aisle For and a couple, songs. a couple songs just kind of you know just dancing and we're like ah this isn't quite how we thought we'd experience the first time seeing fish it literally at the top of the stairs we figured out mm -hmm. after about five minutes or so being up where we were in the stairs that we were in the right section that they we're in the wrong section, but we're just too nice to kind of like, hey, these are our seats. You're, in the, you know, it's harder coming from complete strangers. So the worker came up and we kind of said, hey, this is section 21, right? Would you mind kicking out these people? So, so we showed him our tickets that it was us, mm -hmm. and he did. So then anyway, so we went to that part to the encore. So we, we actually went to our seats, we danced, we moved around. The people next to us were very kind, so we interrupted them again. Well, so they got interrupted with us going in, us leaving. Mm -hmm. The worker coming in, kicking them out, yep. us coming back. <laughs> <laughs> but this is by the second or third, fourth song, again, an official, you know, about a half hour in, right? And so we're dancing, moving, enjoying the show. And uh, it was kind of crowded, and I have a slight, I'm saying, I'm more comfortable. I don't need to be around people. I love the crowd. I thought it was so cool that the, it was a full stadium. The cheers are great, and I love the energy of crowds, but I don't necessarily like being in them, mm. you know? in front of us side of the stage up about the same height we were at really even actually actually closer mm. there's a bunch of empty seats so it wasn't completely sold out venue so what we did was long story short we during the encore we, we made our way to unbought seats and hung out there so we saw closer view side stage but we did get to see many of the lights so i know a lot of people were like make sure you so we saw a lot of the lights but for me that's great and everything i, I don't care really uh, we were closer to the band, and uh, and my uh, we we're chilling. It was nice. We got the chill and uh, watching on the side there with other people. Um, night two, we'd kind of gone into it with this perspective of like, you know what? Um, if we have crappy seats for the first set, we'll move back to those those high seats where we're kind of away from people. Night two, what what ended up happening was we found this like fantastic location. I think where when somebody found it it was the, the actual seats that i had picked so i, I was like kind of worried that ryan wouldn't like the seats or whatever when we found them i'm like oh my goodness this has everything this has an aisle seat for ryan in his tiny bladder this has like how dare you <laughs> this has like um like right behind us there was nobody um there wasn't anyone sitting next to us you know and there was just like nice people all around you know and and so like to me the experience of fish it was, it was like musically, I thought for the first night was so fantastic, but the second night, sitting up there where we were, and we were quite close to behind the band yeah. there, yeah. Um, I thought that was that was I enjoyed day two more than I enjoyed day one. Did I do, surrender to the flow? Yes, I think at the end of the day, we danced and had fun. Yes, I mean it was a really cool scene. Put it this way, positive peer pressure. You didn't want to be the person sitting. As we're listening to the music and we're at the concert, the thought occurred to me, boy, it just sounds better at the show. So I get why people, when we were reacting to Fish, and I, they're patient with us, but I can kind of get why they're like, but you don't understand. <laughs> and we didn't. Why would we? How could we? Had we never. That's why a lot of them would always say, make sure you get yourself to a Fish show. So now I understand that more than ever, why they would say that, because now experiencing the Fish show, I get it. Because I had that specific thought while we were there. I think it was the first night, the second half of the show when we moved seats that it occurred to me, boy, just listening to this live is a whole other experience. We heard live performances on our headsets and you know video, but of course being there, that goes for every band, but I think Fish in particular, to experience that feeling that Fish does building the songs and one song into the next definitely felt a, a thousand times better being at the show. Yeah. yeah first night this is what i experienced from the beginning like the very first night i was just like oh yeah dancing right i have <laughs> you, to do this you better dance or you're gonna and i'm like surrounded by people i don't know right and it just felt like on it and i don't know how to like show this but like when i dance when i'm uncomfortable my hands don't do anything so i just kind of like <laughs> right yeah, yeah. and that's how i danced most of that first half of the first show when we went up top, we didn't have to dance all the time because we're, there was nobody around us really right. for that pressure of dancing. So sometimes we actually sat. Yeah. Um, but when we did dance, I just felt like, oh, okay, 
this is what this means yeah. by like getting into the flow and allow yourself to yeah. not care about what you look like. Yeah. There was this other guy near us in the uh, second half of the first set who was just kind of giving it and going. And I just thought like, why, how come I can't be like that guy? And it kind of got on my, you're in, sober, <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> but it got in my head a little bit and like, right. like wonder what's holding me back, you know? So second night when we got down there, I just felt like I'm going to just, I'm going to dig a little deeper and I'm going to find that groove. And I had even mentioned to, um, th one of the, our fans that met us, um, at the show, I'd mentioned so one of the things I love about how, how, like being there in, in person, Trey often talks about looking out into the audience and he just kind of has that look where he's trying to find the sound and he just he's he just goes with with the flow of where the music's going and i told this to the guys that were sitting next to me, i said it's as like we don't get to play the music as much fun as it would be to be down there and beat, beating the drums and doing everything that they're doing we can't do that but what we do get to do is we get to dance and so because we get to dance we get to kind of interpret what he's doing and then that becomes our version of what trey's doing or what the band is doing in that we get to kind of just yeah I, I love that whole aspect of it and like easily by by the end of this second show i was i felt like i was finding that that flow and it was a it was, a, it was like a religious experience for me it was kind of like just the energy of the crowd um you know once in a while there'd be this this girl next to me is dancing and i'm kind of like just in the the, the mood of like i don't care like you know, it, it just, who cares how dumb we look, you know? Yeah. And like, and I'm sure, I, and I, I kept thinking, well, there's probably somebody up above me that's watching me thinking dance like a fool. But then I just push it out of my mind and you just keep going. Of course, Nathan and I aren't as familiar with fish as, of course, many fish fans are. But there were, so there's times during the concert, Nathan and I were like, we did that one. Like the, the song would start, we'd say that one because we didn't even know the title. We were just like, that sounds familiar. I think we did that one. Because like we've learned fish, they'll start with their song, but it mm -hmm. goes to wherever it goes to. Yeah, yeah. So I didn't know, so I actually went through YouTube, our channel and my first channel where I started fish to see what the set list was for Seattle and what we had actually reacted to. And night two, Funny enough, was the majority of it we had reacted to those songs, which is weird. It's almost yeah. like Fish knew yeah. the Welp guys are here. Mm. They <laughs> no, I'm not even joking. <laughs> they knew. Mm. They knew that Welp was uh, was Welp was in the house because night one only had sample in a jar. So night one, sample in a jar. Nathan had reacted to that on his own. Mm -hmm. No, you had two. And, but then I had two on my yeah. first channel. So first that's right. That. But then for night two. They did Reba. These are the ones that we've reacted. So I'm talking about the ones that Nathan and I have and or I have reacted to that they played on night two. That was Reba, Chalk Dust, uh, Free, Prince Caspian, Waiting the Velvet, Harry Hood, and The Wedge. Well, this was a question from Jeremy. So Jeremy was one of our, I say he watches our channel. He actually started watching me and my channel, then Welp, watched the Welp channel as well. And he was there and he was very excited to meet us, which was very flattering. And Jeremy uh, asked the question in a text that I think we should answer right now, too, and Nathan will answer in his turn, is which night did we enjoy the most? So that was the first question we received. Which night did we kind of like more than the other? Yeah. And that's a tough question because both nights we had fun. Yeah. But it's like saying, did you like the cherry pie or the apple pie? Did you like, mm -hmm. you know, the chocolate cake or vanilla cake? It's like, ah, I don't know, both are good. I enjoyed both. Yeah. So... For my answer regarding that, I think put a gun to my head, you have to listen to one set again, like the exact same, like in the car, you can only listen to one of the two. I would say, even though Night 2 played, the majority of their sets were songs we'd react to, that's what we were quote unquote more familiar with, at least the basic structure of the songs. Mm -hmm. Night 1 was a rockin' show, like it blew me away. Night 2, I would say it didn't blow me away, Partly because I could like, oh, this is what fish is like. This is what they do. So I would just say overall, I think beat for beat, like ratio wise, my enjoyment level was at a much higher night one. I found the song for more, I don't know, my wheelhouse name was rock. 
a lot of rock stuff felt more rock a lot of I think Trey did those you know that big solo finishes it mm. seemed like every song because I turned to you and said I thought I thought the first night was supposed to be the uh, fiddle night or the figure things out night but it right. seems like every song ended with the big solo yeah. by Trey uh, so anyways, that being said, uh, first night overall. So I don't know if that answers quite the question that Curtis also asked, but generally speaking, the songs that I was less familiar with, I ended up enjoying more, though, the, again, the whole performance was amazing. First night, there were, like, I, like Ryan, I think I'm the same. There are some songs that made me go, oh, I have to listen to that song. Yeah. I, I want to hear that song again. And I don't know which ones they are. If I were to go through the list and throw out names, I'd be wrong. I know I would. I, it got me, like interested more i think the first night hearing the music and going like i how much do i really know about fish right. you know the other thing i really liked was and I'll, I, this will kind of come up again in another question is john fishman as a drummer um i don't think i ever saw much that made me go wow what a great drummer watching him uh when we uh did the, did the reactions but hearing him and watching him drum yeah, really, yeah. was a totally different Which experience I thought you were hitting the drums. It just oh, yeah. like he's just doing this. It was a weird, like, I'm just doing this. Yeah. And there were times when, like, the song demanded it where he's just on the ride cymbal for about 20 minutes. How do you do that? And it's yeah. ding, 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 ding. And it's just going. And it, he just looks like he's just barely moving his wrist yeah. to get this thing to do it. Uh, it's so impressive. Um, and, and, and also, I noticed regarding uh, John, just how much depends on him. Uh, for the song to have the effect that it needs, right? Yes, Trey's solos are will blow you away. But if it was just Trey soloing, it wouldn't have as much of the like, whoa, like the feeling, you know, right? Um, and I would say that for just about every, well, every member of the band, absolutely. And I don't know enough about the new bass that Mike was yeah, playing. Mike was playing a new bass. We, he was playing a new he, bass. I thought, I thought he handled it well. I thought he handled it well. <laughs> yeah, I, I wouldn't have known anything. Yeah. yeah. Um, also, I would just while I'm on this, this I also think um, Paige is playing. Uh, we, we got a, a little bit of a better view second day of what that looks like, yeah. and it was kind of cool to, to kind of know exactly when it was Paige that was yeah, playing. So <sighs> favorite song, favorite moment. Um, I think it was the final song at the Fluffhead. It was a Fluffhead. Mm. I never heard that one before. That was one we have not reacted to, so I didn't hear it. And again, for anyone watching this, we don't listen to Fish songs or any bands if we don't react to it first because we it takes, we, it off the takes, list. It takes off the list for us to react to. So yeah. we kind of have to wait for the request to come in for us to react to songs. So Fluffhead we have not done. And I think the reason why I, that was my favorite moment too because it was Fish like being very prog and i'm not even a big prog guy but this was the first night was a very rock and roll night mm -hmm. so hearing them kind of go into a bit of a prog complicated sound and set was really interesting to watch them handle yep. and do uh almost not, not like a show-off session but kind of like hey we've done a lot of rock this night we're not going a little bit of prog but then it ended with that big solo and it was just a big song i i didn't know the song but i could tell this was a big song mm -hmm. this was a song that Deep Fish fans would really appreciate it. it's being played live, and I could be wrong about that, but that was my feeling. So I think overall that was my favorite moment was the show closer of night one. Okay, I guess my least favorite moment was the show. Uh, here you go. Maybe this is why night two was a bit of a letdown because I think not oh, not not a letdown, but I think the ending. I think the worst moment. I don't know if that was asked, but my it might be one of the questions disappointments. But I think the biggest disappointment I had was night two didn't like. I feel like the night should have been switched. I felt like night two didn't end as strong as night one. And I felt that odd that they wouldn't end with a bigger, kind of just a bigger, I thought it was a great song. I remember it being a great song. And I turned to you and I said, I'm glad I recorded that part of the end, not knowing it was the last song. I didn't know it was. I had a feeling it could be because of the time of the night. But I thought, okay, this isn't, it didn't feel like a last song for two nights. Said that, I don't know, maybe fans are going to let us know in the comments if I'm wrong about that. My biggest surprise, yeah, I think I've talked about that. I think it is the dancing. Okay. I did not expect that. I did not expect to enjoy it especially as much as I did. The fact that everyone in the, the audience is dancing at the same time to the same song, there's something about the dance that made it so much more like, I want to do this again. Like, and I know that seems weird. Like, I'm not someone who likes to dance, 
but I would absolutely go back and dance again, you know, at a, at a song because it just feels like who cares, right. you know, it was, it was such a free expression of, of yourself along to this music that you can't do it in another concert. Yeah. And, and how would we get that through watching them on YouTube? You know what I mean? Like how, how would that actually translate through in a reaction? It doesn't, there, there's no way to bring that through in a reaction. Like, Oh yeah, you and me dancing. Like, oh yeah, look, you dance. Oh, let's express ourselves. Y you can't. It just yeah. doesn't work. So I, I think that's that's what I is so different is that experience. Plus, of course, the music and the sound, but and the lights. Yeah. Comments below, please, fish fans. The dancing. What's the culture behind it? When did it start? It could, it could have been the first show, but something must have triggered it. Where now that's what you do. So mm -hmm. I'm just curious. Is there a story behind it? Yeah, what's the story behind it? I just, I saw, we saw them in the group and, we, and I told my wife that, we, we, you know, I'm going to be dancing at this thing and she thought, oh, that'll be funny to watch. Um, I should have filmed it. <laughs> I didn't expect to enjoy it as much as I did. Yeah, that was a big surprise. Uh, the other big surprise was the lighting, I think. Um, because we saw it from so many different perspectives, yeah. uh, didn't matter where you sat. I thought when we moved, well, oh, it's too bad. We won't be able to see the lights. As I, as they were intended for us to see, and um, I was wrong. I was like, from the other direct perspective, everyone else gets a different show, and it's just as cool. There was no phones out, so every now and then I would record. So I did see other people record briefly, mm -hmm. and then they put their phone away, and I was one of those people. I would just record two minutes here. I never recorded a whole song because I felt like. Yeah. Nobody else did. So I was just recording like the big solo outros. I did that about four or five times in, you know, in six hours. So that's very little. I know Fish have this, their website where you can watch streams and listen to me. So you almost don't have to. Like to a large degree, you can go replay it whenever you want at home. So I think one of my biggest surprises in general was truly how much as a collective group of, you know, 17,000 strong no phones, like nary one in sight. Mm -hmm. The odd one would check a message. It was odd, but we're talking people staying on their phones. Yeah, staying on their phones. Yeah. People do it at events. I've been to many concerts. People like you know, here, the, you know. So it was that positive peer pressure where yeah, um, yeah, and, and nothing evil about phones. It's just in general, it was nice to see everyone enjoying the moment, living in the moment. The music was really cool. That was a nice surprise. I wish it was longer. That's what she said. <laughs> I wish. Um, yeah, these are these are lame disappointments. You're gonna think these are lame, Aww. but like, I wish that I had learned about fish earlier in my life, because I feel stupid no, no, no. just learning about it now and going like, like I would have, I would have, but I, no, let me just let me finish here. I would have, I would have been going to fish concerts for my whole life, yeah. and that's what the other th surprising thing was meeting people. I think I guess that was a big surprise for us both, was meeting fans of our channel. Who were at the the fish show, and and they had been to like hundreds well, been going of for shows. Years. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I mean, they've gone to like, like yeah. you and I haven't even gone to that many concerts. Yeah, for anything. You know, yeah. for anything. But they've gone to hundreds of fish concerts. Okay, last question. Yes. Do you want to go to another show? Yes. Or have you got your? Phone? No, 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 no. I get it now. See, I've only been to well two shows, one event. Mm -hmm. I get why people go over and over again because. Mm -hmm. What made it cool was even though we were first timers, we were on the same playing field as, like you said, I think to Jeremy, that idea of the same level playing field that, as everyone else that, you know, none of us know where this is going to go. Mm -hmm. Like we know that like people, the songs would kick in and the crowd would cheer. Nathan and I wouldn't cheer right away because we're like, you know, the crowd would pop for the bass song, that that the song that's on the CD. Yeah. You know, okay, here we go. We've got, we've got, uh, uh, I don't know, uh, like fluffhead or whatever it's coming mm -hmm. cool yeah. yeah but then they don't know where it's going to end yeah and that's where as a first time concert goer to fish we all get to experience the first together of this moment and i think it's really special it's really neat yeah do you then want to go to another show or have you had your fill i don't know if you can tell from my uh responses but that was from andrew again so yes yeah no 100 percent. yeah i i apparently madison square garden is where you're supposed to go next Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I here's what I want to see Tweezer. I I think I was kind of like like everyone I'm sure wanting to see 
a hear tweezer. Maybe that's the old old school concert goer in me. Sure, is well, like a you have a song ready in your mind, well, and you're like, fish fans that we talked to, they yeah. want a tweezer. They it's like fan favorite. If I go to U2, I want to hear where the streets have no name, sure. just because it's my favorite song. And most of the time, they play it, right? And I didn't. I guess I didn't understand that that's not the way that it necessarily works. I It'll be one so time in the tour. They're going to do it at the next six shows they have, whatever. I yeah. It's going to be played somewhere. Yeah, they'll play it, yeah. We didn't get it in Seattle, but that's fine. Yeah. So. Well, I hope everyone enjoyed our... Yeah. <laughs> I hope everyone enjoyed our fish review. And... Uh, and we just want to thank everyone who actually does watch us on the channel who's a fish fan because you fish fans were actually the first real kind of group of people that subscribe to our channel so we do appreciate them we know that our channel's done you know does different things throughout the years and months and uh you've stuck around though because uh, you've obviously responded to the questions or uh, the request for questions so we, we, nathan and i are appreciative of the fish fans and um who've come to our channel have supported us at the beginning and yeah, I would just want to say thank you. Yes, thank you. I think if anything, it's made me feel excited to go to concerts um, as as a thing that we do on this channel. Yeah, oh, go over this one. I'm not going to cut to that one while I'm talking to this one. What are you doing? I just want to make sure I give those guys credit. I mean, hey, guys, I, I see you over there, too, on YouTube. Same people. No, but they might... The guys in the back. Hey, to, hey you guys in the back. <laughs> Is that how this works? I, I hope, I can't wait to go to another uh, venue, another concert and do something similar and meet fans and be, be involved in, you know, getting to experience it firsthand. I think that's what I'm excited about. So, all right. Well, yeah. thanks for joining us on this uh, uh, concert review. First time, ex oh, I guess, our reaction to a fish concert. Mm -hmm. Thanks. We'll see you on the next one. Am I allowed to look at the camera now, Nathan? Can I...